Oh, okay. What we got? You good? Yes. Um, can you just take me through the block? Well, you know, just a hustle play. Um, I thought I'm going to get dunked on, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, going down the stretch, just do whatever, you know, it takes to win the game. You know, just put yourself in a position that can win the game. And, you know, uh, you know, I saw, I saw, you know, I saw the play coming. Uh, I saw that uh, Chris, Chris Paul was throwing the lob. So I'm, like, I just, I'm just going to jump vertical, you know, towards the rim. Hopefully I can, you know, be there in time. And uh, I was there in time and was able to get a good block and uh, go down uh, and get to point. So, so uh, it was a great hustle play. Uh, it felt like a strange angle. Like it, it was one of those spots where it, the, the toss just kind of came out of nowhere. Did it surprise you at all? No, no, no. I, it didn't surprise me. Like I saw it coming. Like I knew once I see saw him putting on the his one hand, he was too far for a layup. So I knew he was throwing the lob, and I committed so much. Uh, and you kind of like your instinct. You kind of feel it. You, I felt him like rolling and to the rim behind me. So I, I knew the only chance to get a stop is just jump towards um, towards the rim and try to cover that uh, that angle for him to score. And Aiden is so strong. You, so you legitimately thought as you went up, he was gonna he was gonna dunk it. Yeah, I, w- I was late. Like usually, a play like that, it's it's a. If I was in the upper, opposite side, it's it's a dunk, you know. But uh, as I said, like I didn't jump to block the ball. I jumped towards the rim. I feel like that's what uh, kind of helped me, put me in position to uh, get the block because I jumped. The rim was right here, so I jumped right here. So he could like shoot the ball. If he shot the ball to the backboard, it'd probably be a goaltending, you know. But he tried to dunk it, so I, w- I was right there earlier than him. Malika in the back. Giannis, Chris had some big performances last round, but for most of them, you were watching. Tonight, you got to be out there with him. What did you see from him, and what was that like? It was great. You know, uh, he was being aggressive, and uh, you know, I kept communicating to him that. There was things that we could do that to get him wide open, to get him to the elbow jump shot, to get him um, turning the corner. Because usually they're like helping a lot when he's turning the corner. But uh, he was, he was. That's what he does down the stretch. We want him to have the ball. We want him to be the decision maker. We know he's going to take big shots. He's going to make big shots. Uh, and uh, tonight was, he was incredible. Jim here up front. Hey, yes. Um, but you mentioned a, a hustle play on your end. I guess can you speak to Pat's defense on Devin, where there was a switch late and Devin tried to end up having a, a contested jumper. Drew gets the re, uh, you know, that rebound gets an offensive rebound at the other end. It seemed like hustle, mental toughness, big part of those last few minutes for those oh, guys. Oh, for sure, for sure, for everybody, everybody that was on the floor. We kind of know, you know, kind of what kind of game this is. We knew that the last three minutes we gotta, you know, get stops, you know, take possession at a time and uh, just make it as tough as possible for them. We knew that Devin Boogie gonna have the ball, Chris Paul gonna have the ball, and we just wanted to make them make a play, you know, uh, make them make uh, a tough play, maybe drive to the hoop, have a contested layup or a contested two, you know. So I think uh, those two guys did a great job. Drew did a great job. Pat did a great job, uh, and we we need them to keep doing that. You talked about trust for those guys, especially Pat on offense. Is that an example of trust on defense where it, I don't know if there's an instinct or a desire to maybe want to go help or help too much, but it, it seemed like that was just, okay, Pat, this is your assignment and try to make it tough. Yeah, it's okay. He, yeah. he can, uh, you know, and Pat and Drew and uh, PJ, they can, they can guard, you know, and uh, there's going to be times that as bigs, me, Brew, Bobby, we got to read, you know, when we're going to help. Uh, and sometimes we over help uh, that we don't have to, but uh, this time they, they have to guard. They have to like sit down and uh, move their feet and uh, contest shots and send them the, send the guys to the crowd and send the guys to uh, the bigs. And I feel like uh, they've been doing a great job. But um, as you know, uh, we gotta keep we gotta keep doing this together. We gotta uh, they gotta keep guarding. We gotta keep helping. And uh, moving forward, we gotta keep doing this. Rachel? Giannis, in the fourth quarter when they're up 
<laughs> yeah, I can't see. Oh, he's in the corner. Okay. Yeah, he's in there. Oh. <laughs> uh, in the fourth quarter when they were up seven, and, you know, if you go down 3-1, going back there, that's significant. What was going through your mind? You know, how about, how about do you want it? You know, how, you know, how about do you really want it? You know, um, and just leave the game, you know, swinging kind of mentality, you know, um, try to be aggressive, try to get stops, you know, try to set screens, like do everything uh, physically, physically possible to uh, put yourself in a position to win this game. And I think everybody was feeling, feeling that. And, uh, you know, that's what we did. You know, it, it, wasn't, a, it wasn't a pretty game, uh, uh, but we was able to, you know, keep Keep in composure, keep coming. Uh, we had wide open shots that we missed that we usually make, but uh, going down the stretch, we kept believing in ourselves. We kept executing, we kept setting screens, we kept getting stopped, we kept running, we kept rebounding the ball, we kept blocking shots. So uh, we wanted this bad, and uh, the team showed it tonight, but we got to keep getting better. Got to keep getting better, we got to keep taking steps forward and uh, keep playing good basketball. Tim up front. Into quite the same places and be quite as aggressive as you were tonight offensively. Did they do anything different, or was it something you were seeing that was different? What was what changed? No, I think I think I just got to be more aggressive. I got to be more aggressive. I got to keep going downhill uh, more, and uh, keep keep enjoying enjoying the game more. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, and you, you and Chris have both talked a lot about the fact that over the past eight years, you guys have kind of built this thing into what it is and built yourselves into the players that you are. How how did it feel to be able to close out a game like this with him? It would, you know, the way you two played down the stretch to kind of get this thing done and keep you guys in the series. Feels good. Feels good. You know, uh, we've we've done this uh, a lot a lot of times. You know, and uh, there's times that you know uh, going down the stretch, I got I got to trust him. And uh, he gotta trust me. And uh, as I said, we've done it. We've done so many. We've closed so many games, and we've lost a lot of games. But like closing a, a game like this in the NBA Finals, like you know, obviously it means it means a lot. And if it felt good, and uh, but uh, we cannot be satisfied. You know, we gotta keep enjoying the game, keep uh, playing good basketball. And uh, but to answer your question, it felt good um, doing that with him down the stretch. Lori, right here. I also wanted to ask you about Chris. I know it doesn't surprise you that he had 10 clutch points um, because you know him so well, but how happy are you for him? He doesn't flex. He doesn't put anything on himself. He doesn't even dunk. So the fact that, you know, did you say anything to him or just how happy are you for him? I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm very proud. But as I said, it comes down to trust. Like I, I trust him, you know, win or lose, I'm okay with it. Like usually, like when you're going down the stretch, in, like game like this or whatever game you play, you want to take it upon yourself and uh, win or lose. You're like, okay, I took the shots. You know, it, I, I lost the game. I won the game. You know, but like it comes down to like trust. I trust that guy right there, Drew. I trust Chris. I know they're gonna make the right play, and uh, I know they're gonna deliver the ball when I'm open. And uh, but like what he did tonight was. It was incredible. We 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 need him to keep doing it, you know. And uh, we we within reach uh, of our goals, and hopefully we can keep enjoying, you know, enjoying the game and uh, keep playing good basketball. Keep you know having uh, building winning habits that we build all year. Keep trusting our winning habits and uh, keep making winning plays. Uh, and hopefully we can put ourselves in a position to win. Sam, on your right. Giannis, uh, you've had plenty of big moments, but you, you got about 70 seconds left in that game. You, you, you finished that block, and you didn't make the choice to flex and look in the crowd a little bit. Just what's the feeling, um, especially after and the entire night of grinding to get where you guys were? Oh, man, it, it was a tough game. Tough game. It, was a, it, was a, it wasn't a pretty game, but uh, we grinded. We grinded through. You know, they, they played really good. They played really, really good. You got to give them credit. Uh, but, like, as I said, like, three minutes before, you know, in the timeout, in my head, I'm like, okay, you got to keep, you know, you got to keep making plays. Like, right now, it's like, how bad do you want it? If they go up 3-1, it's, it's a whole different ball game, you know. And uh, I feel like it was just emotions, 
you know, and there's sometimes, you know, I black a shot around the other way, but, you know, I think there was so much emotions uh, into me, uh, and I tried to, like, enjoy that moment, you know, and, um, you know, there's sometimes that you, you know, have a black, have a three, whatever, you just run down the other, but, like, for me, the way I play, the way I want to play moving forward, I want to, like, enjoy every single moment, and that was a moment that I felt like our team was turning around, and we were, you know, getting the momentum, and, uh, Chris was hitting big shots and, uh, you know, it felt good. Um, so, so yeah, to answer your question, it felt good. And um, the, the way we were playing felt good at the time. Right here in the center. Giannis, this was the second game in a row you went out early in the first quarter. I'm just curious what was going on there. I wanted to, uh, what the hell you guys say politely, I wanted to take a, a tinkle. A, a tinkle? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to take a tinkle and came back. Yeah. That's it. That's it's, that's polite, right? Yeah, yeah. Tinkle is polite. Yeah. Both games. Both games. I want to take a tinkle to win back. Last question, Jeff. <laughs> we should probably just end right there. <laughs> um, another Chris question. He, he's such a you, you know easygoing, seemingly quiet, even on the court. And so, so, when did you learn he had such a competitive nature? How did you learn it? What were the signs that showed you there there was some fire inside? Okay, throughout the years, throughout the whole journey with him, you know, I, I kind of you know figured it out. We've played so many games together, but um, there was a specific time. I think it was in the playoffs against uh, Toronto. Back here that we played at home, I don't want to say the whole story what happened, and uh, but like he wasn't, he wasn't feeling great, and uh, but he played the game and he gave everything to uh, for the team and for us, and uh, you know that's when I realized I'm like, yeah, this is the, this is the guy that I want to be, you know, aligned with, and uh, I want to go through the journey with, you know. So uh, that was, as I said, throughout the journey there was a lot of moments, but that was a specific moment that I was like, yeah. You know, that's that dude, that's the dude that, you know, I want to, you know, build a legacy with and uh, be with him, you know, just be a part of his, his own journey and he can be a part of my journey and, uh, you know, do this together. Thank you. Thank you, guys.